Good morning, folks. Happy uh, Friday. <laughs> I was going to try to get some clever name, but I'm not really feeling clever right now. So we're making we're making up Monday's stream of Dragon Quest Eight today because I wasn't able to stream on Monday because I was on call for work. So anyway, yeah, we're going to be playing Dragon Quest Eight today. But before we begin, I am still fundraising for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund. A very worthwhile fundraiser to donate to that helps support LGBTQ folks that are stuck in the prison system and tries to help them not, you know, be in the prison system. Helps stuff like bail and all that kind of fun stuff. Fun, it's fun in big quotation marks. <clears throat> so if you're interested in helping with that, I have a link below the stream. Well, I have a button below the stream, rather, for the... Um, Tiltify campaign. I also have a chat command that's shared every once in a while. Exclamation point donate. The chat bot shares it every 30 minutes or so. And I also have the command wholesale if you're more interested in getting that link immediately. My chat bot also shares my Discord uh, link if you're interested in that as well. And when the stream comes up and is visible, you should see a QR code you can also scan to get sent to the fundraisers as well. Any way you choose to help is greatly appreciated. Uh, I've been trying to fight this freaking Sound Alerts garbage for like a while to get it back working again. And I guess I guess people on your end can hear it, but I can't, which is half the fun of just he hearing these Sound Alerts, you know? Like, come on. I don't know what the problem even is. At least the problem today isn't getting the PS2 uh, display properly. At least I don't got to worry about that. Coffee. Let's see. If I remember correctly where we left off, we like went to this cave and found this dude because we thought he was like the descendant of one of the sages. But it turns out that's his mom, not him, and she's lives all by herself off in the meow in the mountains. In the mountains. So we gotta go check up on her to make sure she's safe, which I've got a feeling bad things are about to happen, so um yeah. Okay, all 33, 34, and 32, okay. Not too bad. Just trying to make our way outside so we can zoom to that place. See what bad shit is going down. I'm pretty sure we have to go here. Seems peaceful, peaceful so far. Let's get the peaceful music. Oh, I missed some barrels. I think. Mmm, property damage. <laughs> My favorite. I knew it. I knew it. Go! 
Gracias. <coughs> Angelo does some ridiculous damage now. Did I look at these books? <sighs> Only code is good to find. Oh yeah, I think I did. I remember reading about the uh, red robe. My favorite. Mm-mm-mm. Thanks for the hydrate, man. Hope you're doing good. Oh, that dog's like, oh, Jessica, you're so pretty. I'm not gonna just, I'm gonna do nothing. <laughs> <clears throat> Can't really blame the dog for that. Oh, it's not really, not much of a, not exactly a dog. It's more like a demon critter, I guess. I don't know. Oh, did I break these? I can't remember. So we're wrecking them again. Man, dude's going wild on the frickin' pot and spoons. <laughs> Not your grandpa's hellhounds, nope. These ones don't drop hard clue scrolls. <laughs> uh, where the, f where the fuck is this person at? This is definitely the right place, because, I mean, these hellhounds are here. Um, hmm. Is there another, like, way to go that I just missed? Hmm. Do I just exit now that, um... Um... Nope, this is just a, an empty barn with some tools on the wall. And I, bro I broke those before I even went into her house. Oh, there's a path back here, okay. Guess we're going this way. The, ha the, the house was a cl was a clever um, distraction. Oh, the ruins, of course. Uh oh, more more hellhounds. Hurry down here. Oh, hey, the lady's all right at least. We've killed like 10 of those at bare minimum. Why are we running from them? Ha <laughs> fools. They cannot hurt us in here. So that's why she's safe. Evil cannot penetrate the barrier. She used some versage powers that she actually has. I know I recognize you. You were the ones who were caught in the avalanche, no? 
You seem to have more than your share of bad luck turning up here at a time like this. Still, we must look on the bright side. Perhaps it's a good thing that you found your way into the ruin. I was downstairs infusing herbs when I heard Boris barking up above. I wanted to see what was bothering him. I found a group of wolves surrounding the house. I ran here to get away from them. I only saw them briefly, but I'm sure they were not normal wolves. I could sense some kind of evil about them. Boris! Of, of, of. What a lad. What a big lad. Love your work. The godbird Empyria travels between worlds. She visits these worlds to warn of the threat posed by the Lord of Darkness. Raptorn! What's this one say? Sam Chet? I'm one of the seven sages. With the Godbird and Pyria's help, we are able to seal away the Dark Lord Rapthorn. It is conceivable that many years from now, his shadow may rise again to darken the world once more. And so I have carved the story of our friend and ally in Pyria here. I'm probably going to say that differently like almost every single time I encounter it because words. So that future generations may know and understand. Upon hearing her tale, we seven sages pledged to stand and fight alongside her. With Empyria's guidance, we were able to fashion a magical scepter, a scepter with the power to imprison the Dark Lord's evil soul. So began the battle. In the end, the scepter, empowered by the the, co the calm mingling of our seven bloodlines, was able to entrap Rathorn. Nice! Is this, did I read this one already? Empyria watches over, uh, over us from on high. Look to her if evil rears its ugly head again. Alright, yeah, anything else to say? Did you meet with Merrick and pass on the bag? Yes. Can I believe it? He is coming here because he is worried about me? I always thought I was the only one with all my worries about him. My Merrick. Not the Merrick you're thinking about. It's not Merrick Ishtar. It's just Merrick. I have a very bad feeling about this. Something is terribly wrong. It's probably Rapthorn's latest husk that he's occupying. Oh, this is, uh, herbs. Okay. Or the grass that she grows, or whatever. Yep. <laughs> Just set her house on fire. And dude's got, they got Merrick. Forgive me. I was coming after you when I was attacked by this dog. You again. You have a tiresome habit of appearing at the most inopportune moments. Evil dog, evil dog, evil dog. But I don't have the time to waste on the likes of you. Of the sage, show your face and accept your fate. Defy me and condemn your own flesh and blood. Defy me and your son will die. Rapporn's not fucking around. Mama, stay inside. If you come out, he will attack. Stay inside. Well, what a surprise. I come out to find the one who taunts me is a dog. But you are not just a dog. I can smell it. I can smell the evil that tells me who you really are. You know who I am. You must know what I want. Come quietly, and I promise a quick and painless demise. Ha! Release him first, then we will talk. You are in no position to make demands. Be quiet. And come to me. Oh, yeah, yeah. You reason like the monstrous beast you are. Very well. 
I will go to you. Oh. Oh, all right, thanks. Whoa. Farewell, my friends. Remember, together it is possible to break even an elm. Together, you can overcome even the strongest evil. You choose wisely. In you, the blood of the sages has found a true heir. Such a pity that I must spill it. But there is nothing to fear. Your son will be following you before long. So that was your plan. But the scythe has hit the stone. You are wrong if you think an old babushka like me has no fire left in her. My fucking eyes! Well, you like my nook powder? Go, Boris! Hurry! Oh, well, I don't know if there's anything hurry about, Boris. <laughs> hey, he was fast enough. Got him. It has absorbed more sage life force. Meddlesome old hag. Trying to cheat me of my destiny. Ah, my eyes, my eyes. <clears throat> but now, only one seal remains. Just one. When the last air's blood is spilt, my spirit will finally be free of this scepter. Oh. Oh, fuck. Dog with wings. Definitely not your, <laughs> your grandpa's hellhounds. <laughs> Easy. We've killed like 20 of these things. And we're about to kill like eight more. Yeah, that that wasn't very threatening. <laughs> That's a fucked up dog. <laughs> Dogs are suddenly not they're suddenly not interested. Oh Boris. Mama 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 No If only I had not let that dog capture me. I thought I could finally make things up to you. This is all my fault. 
Mama! Poor dude. <laughs> that evil dog flew <clears throat> off to the east, yes? Uh, east. Hmm. I think the Lord High Priest's island is to the east. Oh, yo, yo. You say you have been chasing this dog. You must not give up. We cannot allow another life to be sacrificed like my mother's. You must find him and defeat him. Believe me, his list of crimes needed no addition to persuade us of that. But what are we supposed to do now? They finally catch up with the fiend. And he flies off! How can we possibly hope to follow? That is it! Imperia! Imperia! Okay. If the enemy can fly, then you need to fly <clears throat> too! You must enlist the help of the god bird, Imperia! There are monuments about her in the shrine inside this ruin. It is written on them how she fights against evil. If anyone can help you in this battle, I am certain that Imperia can. Pretty sure we read these, but maybe we have to read them again now. Yep. Travels between worlds. Blah 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 blah. Okay, I read that one too many times. Up. Oh. <laughs> Pressing too many buttons. Godbird Isle is located in the far-flung corner of the world, surrounded by treacherous cliffs that none may approach. So I have to find a sea chart, I guess. Hmm. It was disappointingly inconclusive. We have no idea where the sea chart is, for one thing. Still, chin up. All we can do now is head east after that pesky hound. Crashed up the place. It's really unfortunate. Alright, I think we have to go to the Neo Island now. Pretty sure that's the place they meant. Maybe it's the place uh, to the north. No, we're gonna check this place out first. the kind of people that become cops. You know how we feel about cops on this fucking channel.
Hmm. Well. <clears throat> whatever, whoever's possessing it, it's just a dog we're up against, right? I won't be able to resist a juicy bone then, will it? All we gotta do is stick a bit of meat or fish or something in a trap will capture the loopy mud. Anything will do it. Any grub was what a dog like. Actually, I've been peckish myself. Neither of them are about today, hmm? Just a memory. What was I thinking about? The dog or the god burger about it as all? Well. I suppose Neos is too holy of a place for that monster dog to appear, but there's something that's been sticking in my mind. It's about the goddess statue, something that doesn't quite sit right with me. Sanctuary. Make sure you beat the dust out of your filthy clothes before you go. Fuck you! <laughs> Likes the high priest Rolo and Abbot Marcel Marcello are allowed in at any time, of course, but that's because of their status in the church. Ah, Abbot Marcello, you say? I know who that is. Well, we can at least try. This is one of the places we came to earlier in the game. Where we met Angelo. talk to him, or at least try to, if he's here. He's just taking a shit or something. What the fuck? <laughs> Maybe he's back in the old Abbot's place. there's no one else to talk to and then we'll come over here and see if he's maybe hanging out in here nope no idea where he is I was thinking maybe we talked to him he's like oh you need to get in here very well I'll, I'll all like a company or something. No idea where this bastard is though. He looked like a bird, which nothing wrong with birds, but he's like, look at me, I'm so noble. Fuck off. Oh yeah, we can, we have the we have the um, ultimate key, so we can get into doors like this now, I think. Which I wouldn't be surprised. If there's a lot of treasure located around the game that I can just get now. Torture chamber. <laughs> Why you chilled two children down here? Hmm. 
Oh, my other option is to go to the, uh... Unless these guys know where he is. I think we had to either just go back there and wander around or something. Cause it sounds like he's also there, maybe. So I think I was kind of on the right track at least. Coffee, coffee, coffee. I guess we're gonna wander around this town until we figure out what the hell we're able to do. Jessica did mention something about the statue. I think we can see it from up here, maybe? I don't know. Get a great view of it from the top of the tower, yep. Maybe this is the story trigger we need. That's a big fucking statue. Looks a little fucked up though. Looks a little cracked. I wonder if that's always been there, if that's like new. Hmm. Oh, not much else I can do about it up here, it seems like. So, down we go. I've seen a flying dog. I think it must be a tired dogs can't fly. Oh, honey, if, on if only you knew the ways of the world. What a terrible business, especially for one who carried the blood of the great sages. I have to say it, but I'm afraid it's the start of something even more terrible. I've got a feeling. Well, at least you got a bit of intuition. You got, you got goddess bath water there, though. It's good. It's good for selling. I wonder, if, I wonder if that's what magic water is. It's just goddess bath water. <laughs> it's place in the world. Every priest worth the salt has made a pilgrimage here at some time in his life. Well, I guess it explains why this inn is like 100 gold. It's because you're supposed to come here much later than I did. I guess we'll just kind of comb through all the... My muddy feet are, are all in here now, so fuck you, kid. Fuck you. <laughs> now I'm gonna get my feet extra muddy despite you. Because <laughs> for better or for worse, I'm a creature of spite and opinions.
I'm like 99% sure I've been in here before, but we'll... Holy charm to protect you from spells and death dots doth exist. Fire a holy water and a gold rosary. Well, that one's pretty easy, actually. Oh, what was I make? Oh, <laughs> this. <laughs> I have better ways to make money now than making these. Uh, let's see, I think it was a holy water and a gold rosary. mind then. I thought that's what it was, but apparently it is not the whole recipe. Because that was definitely a holy water and that was definitely a gold rosary. Eh, whatever. Uh, per usual, if it, comes, if it really comes to it, I will look up what I need to do, but... You know, I I would prefer to figure it out on my own. So the guardhouse. Seems the Templars are going to be taking over the guard of the whole island now. We're not needed anymore. There's something strange about that man, Marcello, who came here before. When you looked at me in the eye, I felt a chill go right to my core. I mean, it has an effect on people. I don't know if you ever came in this uh, building. So maybe there's some stuff in here I missed out on. Or maybe there's just nothing in here. Just appear out here and got my nose right in the horse's asshole. <laughs> what a strange looking dog. Doesn't ring any bells, I'm afraid. Sorry, I couldn't be of any help. I'm better than most of the people on this fucking island. Man, I'm a little stumped right now. They've not really thrown out any lifelines of any kind. Of like, any kind. So I'm just kind of wandering around now, which is not fun. But I'll kind of check some more of the town, I guess. What's this? Oh, something I missed, apparently. Spicy cheese. It's how they make Doritos, I guess. <laughs> they keep their extra goddess statues in storage. It's you. 
Is it? But surely you. I mean, no, it can't be. I'm sorry. Please just ignore me. What do you know? Coo, coo, there, you see. Pigeons go coo, not poo. Coo, coo. Captain Crow and the, the pirate hid his treasure chest somewhere before he died. That's what everyone says. I'm gonna find it when I grow up. Not if I find it first, you little fuck. <laughs> That's... Like, just a rock house. That's the end. I guess let's check in here too. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What was your. Pumpkin? Okay, that's a very good name. It's a very good name for a very good dog. What's up, kiddo? Pumpkin! Coo, coo! Go on, try making it sound like a pigeon. I don't think dogs can do that. Or most dogs, rather. Don't mind me just destroying all your jars. What's up, Grandma? Thanks for the, the money, the loser. Oh dear me! All the houseworkers got me got in my backache. Well, and get some rest. You need to rest. You need to rest up. Housework's not just easy, free work. Get your souvenirs here, ladies and gentlemen. Neos Fudge, Neos, Ro Neos Rock, I've got everything here. How about a Neos Pendant for you? No. I don't need any tacky merchandise about this shitty island. Of course you are. I wonder if there's something here at night instead that I need to do. Meow. How delightful. We'll rest till evening. <laughs> oh, Princess Medea, poor thing. Oh, is that you? I'm sorry. I didn't want you to have to see me crying. It's just that I can't get Marta out of my mind. She was such a lovely old lady. But we should try not to dwell on it. We have so little time together. Let's talk about happier things. That was the first time I've ever seen snow. It was so beautiful. Like a giant fluffy white blanket. If we played hide and seek, you'd never be able to find me. I'm so white as a horse. Don't forget to take me to the spring now and then. I miss talking to you. Well, that's sweet. Unfortunately, I've got plot to do. <laughs> or at least try to do. I'm a bit keen praying at this time of night. And I'm a night prayer. You say the same stuff. Yep, you do. I guess let's try searching, looking at the statue at night, maybe. 
Maybe that'll trigger something to happen. Like maybe the dog will be like hiding on the statue or something like that because it's nighttime, people can't see it. Nope, nothing different. Okay, um. I'm trying to give this as fair of a shot as I can before I just look up the solution. Because it is fun to kind of figure things out on your own, but like... For better or for worse, this is an old JRPG. And they can be, um... Intentionally misleading. Or intentionally kind of like lacking info, and it's kind of... talking about this terrifying monster. Apparently it's like a giant dog. There are reports people say if it's flying. Saw it flying north. Ah. So that east. Means it's probably not here yet. Well in that case let's let's figure out where I'm gonna go then. Let's go to Arcadia, we'll figure it out from there. Let's see where Princess Minnie's castle puts us. Okay, that's better. I guess while we're here, we'll uh, pop in and drop off any medals we've found. Damn, damn girl, you're awake. St you're still awake. Gold nugget for 52. Oh, perfect. Just the right amount. Once you open the immediate. Ooh, that would be worthwhile. Give that some of that. Give that to someone that absolutely needs to go first, and they might be able to go first. <laughs> Hell, and maybe even like Yangus, who's like the slowest character. Yeah, I didn't think these were that strong, so I didn't want to waste a lot, a ton of MP on them. Alrighty then. Go this way, and previous in previous times, I um, tried going to the continent that the or tusk place is on, and I got I found octopuses that beat me to a fucking pulp. So we're gonna we're, we don't have to worry about that anymore because we're str we're much stronger, but we still might find them anyway. I don't know, just these guys. I think those were weaker than I thought. Yeah, a little bit. That's okay.
So I was thinking I might have to come to this place, whatever it is. Can we land here? Or is that too high? It doesn't seem like it'd be too high, but I don't know. Maybe it is. Oh! These guys! Yeah, these are the ones I was worried about previously. They're probably not gonna die in one turn. Anyway. Because they're pretty beefy. And they attack at least twice. <clears throat> yeah, these things are still alive. Oh, wait, are these the lower ones? Oh, well... No, these are definitely not the lower ones. I think I'm just that high a level where uh, one of them just like ran the fuck away. That's weird. Yeah, these things are pretty thick. Yep, oh, alright. Well, I guess we killed one of them. For what that's worth. Well, I guess we can land here. Hmm. Let's see what fresh hell awaits us here. I haven't been on this island yet. Night Emperor's Killer Moths. Alright. I'm game. Let's see if they can survive Shining Shot and uh, boom. Uh, no. The answer is no. <laughs> Interesting. Hoodlums. All right. That makes your seem a little weak. <laughs> Surely I wasn't meant to come here at a much lower level than I am. That seems weird. Shades. Woo! These things are probably resistant to magic. A little bit. Not that resistant, though. music this music's in DQ 11 as well people say Captain Crow had some amazing map called the illuminated sea chart it's supposed to guide you this to the strange island that no normal boat can get to 
I was sailing down a river in the eastern continent when I saw this really weird cave under a bridge. What a find. Oh! Interesting. That's unfortunate. So can you, uh, can I get these? Well, oh, well, sucks to suck. <laughs> He's like looking directly at me while I'm opening his chest. He's like, eh, whatever. Like assert dominance. Oh, you just sell gold rosaries, alright. Do Just even her coins, pendants, and postcards here. Oh god damn it. A strange arc doesn't move even in the strongest scale. It's the Lord High Priest's strength that keeps it there. He really is the most incredible man. I'm sure he is. The other night when there was a new moon, I saw the shadow of some big black thing flying around outside the cathedral. It went away quite quickly, but it was really scary. Oh, yep. Yeah. Dog's here. Meow. Can I zoom back here? I'm guessing this is what that... This is where that place is. Oh, it's an eastern continent with a, uh... with a uh, bridge cave thing. Hmm. Like a river and all that. Well, I think I know where I need to go. Or at least where I think I need to go. Go to Minnie's Castle, sail southwest, and hook around the cape. And go down the river, I guess. We have the ultimate key, so we shouldn't have any trouble getting into whatever we want. Very ferocious, thankfully. Potentially is a holy a holy water. I don't want to deal with weak encounters.
I will. Maybe it's not there. I'm thinking of, or maybe it. Segregator map now. That's about as good as I'm gonna get, I think. Pretty sure there's probably some like treasure rooms and some of the various castles I could go plunder now. Uh, the ultimate key. That was a nice little spell that Hero got from uh, putting points in courage. It's like free. It's like a free holy water. So. Let's investigate this river. They did say Eastern Continent or whatever, but like, they didn't specify which. So let's see if it's this one. So far, it's so good, looking a little promising. I think we're in the right place. This thing's giving like relevant like amounts of stuff. Oh, there's enemies here too. Oh, what the fuck are you? <laughs> uh. An anime girl's worst nightmare, I guess. I don't know. Um, or maybe not worst nightmare. But I guess it's fitting that there's a pirate monster here. See the magic. Yeah, this room is already looted because this place has probably been here for a long time and people have probably found it. But I've not been able to get into here because they don't have the final key. But I do. Haha, <laughs> beat you to it, fucker! I thought I recognized ya. You're that lot who got the Venus tear for me, ain't ya? Fancy seeing you again in a place like this. Red, what on earth are you doing here? Well, I heard a rumor that there's treasure here. Belong to that old pirate, Captain Crow. Mentioned treasure to me, and I'm unstoppable. I can't get enough of it. 
So I got myself this boat and came on down to see what I could find. By the looks of you, you're here for the same reason, eh? Oh, this could be a bit of a laugh then. First one to find it keeps it. In which case I'd better get a wiggle on. Sure you won't mind giving me a bit of an head start. Oi, hold your horses. You can't just say all that and then run off. And there are monsters in here, you know. Look at you, going off half-cocked on your own. You must have a screw loose. Who do you think you are underestimating me like that? You should know by now how good I am at creeping around. Those monsters won't even know I'm in here. Not like you, you big fat clodhopper. Rude. Like, I, good, look, I get it, girl power, yes, but like, also rude. <laughs> I gotta admit, I wasn't expecting a dungeon today, but hey, that's fine. What the hell are the. God. Oh, hey, Merman. Or Merking. Yep, Merking. Oh, they are fast. Well, that's annoying. Oh, those thunder guys are immune to that. Well, that's fun. Probably because they're like lightning or light el elemental or something. Ah, envenomated is the worst kind of po worst kind of poison. Yeah, those guys are immune to the element that boom and Angelo's one spell are. I'm immune to that though, fuckers. <laughs> Well, now I know to just do swoosh on them and uh, sizzle or whatever. Mini metal? Oh, fine, I suppose. Considering I still need um, some mini metals to get the meteor bracer, which would be really nice to have. Another one, all right. Well, shit, at this rate, I might just get all the mini medals in this one dungeon. <laughs> A crazy Jesus Christ. Impressive that they can jump with no legs. Oh, perfect. Found the map.
so I already been in. I've been in. Well, I don't know if the mouse will like. No, it won't record over the, the emulator. That's fine. Um, yeah, I just need to take a right out of this room and go down the hall. It looks like. Oh, while well, fighting nautical horrors. you to make me do all the work for you so you can steal all of our shit evil weapons modify a battle fork with a poison weapon and create a mine it with a cursed item to create a demon spear the power of evil pulses through the demon spear you'll find that it can occasionally take the life of an enemy with a single thrust I think spears also have a thunder thrust which is a crit thing kind of like hatchet man it's an old and tattered diary. In my youth, I sailed the seas, explored the world, and discovered more rare and valuable treasures than I can imagine. But I regret to my dying day the fact that on all my travels I never managed to set foot on the island of the legendary godbird. Alas, my frail old body prevents me from setting out another arduous sea voyage. So as I can't go myself, I placed a clue to finding the island within my treasure vault. You, you wish to take up the mantle of my legacy. Proceed through the hidden door at the back of this room and stand before me. It's, it's the diary of a simple Tony. <laughs> In an effort to reduce my load while traveling, I decided to use my favorite helm as a makeshift cooking pot. One day, as I was using it to warm some fresh milk, I accidentally dropped a cap pad into it. I was all set to drink it anyway, but guess what? My helm suddenly sprouted a pair of horns. <laughs> now I can't bounce it on the ground for cooking anymore. To make matters worse, it fell it fell over when the horns came out, so I lost the ingredients too. Oh well, I guess there's no cry use or crying over spilt milk. Bullish headwear, some kind of helm, cowpat, and fresh milk. Jesus Christ. Enemies! Oh, these dudes. Demon thunders with light uh, that are immune to light attribute, which is fun. They're not immune to fucking kaswoosh, though. And probably not kasizzle. Oh, definitely not. Here's this decoration can be moved, turn it. God damn it. I knew there'd be some kind of secret passage in here. Right again. So looks like our competition's back on track then, eh? I won't be losing to the likes of you. I don't care how much of a mommy you are. You're not getting my treasure. <laughs> uh, oh. Then it kind of expands out a little. Uh, let's go this way first. Because there's probably some, some loot down this way. Yeah. Probably a mini metal or something. that back right now. They're not really that fierce yet.
Nope, nope, that's a dead end anyway. Alright. Oh, that means we win. Those enemies are just kind of annoyingly resistant to spells. It's a lot of XP for one battle, for one normal battle, rather. Terrible lightning, it wasn't really that terrible. I've got a feeling the other way is the way forward, and this just gets us a bunch of treasure, which, hey, I'm fine with a bunch of treasure. I will not turn down loot. down here, alright. I mean, we fought them before.
Okay, they are not resistant to sizzle. Mimic drops a treasure chest. An iron. Oh boy, reptile. Ooh. Well, that's great. <laughs> I guess. Um. Hmm. Okay, so this end was a dead end. Which means you probably come into there through, um, either the other side over there or from upstairs. But not really gonna know that until we, uh, make our way around. We meet again. Just so as you know, there's nothing to see here. Up to you whether you believe me or not. I don't. Because I know there's a tre that treasure chest across the way. She also doesn't have the key to unlock do the doors, so... At me, you fuck. <laughs> Try to get a little bit of MP back with my casters. With some of these lower stakes fights, like where there's just like two enemies, there's not any real reason to like use all of our MP up to just wipe them out. There was nothing there. There is a little pulley crank thing. So moving the handle makes the water go down, eh? Well, thanks for that. Now I can get even further ahead of you. Bad luck, eh? Must be a bit annoying that you figured it out, but I'm the one to benefit. Yeah, I hope a monster smashes you in the face. Because <laughs> there's almost certainly going to be like some sort of boss, like Captain Crow's ghost or some shit in here. It, it, this, this just feels like... That's what's probably gonna happen.
Oh, well, all right. <laughs> Oh, well, I guess that's fitting, but I have no reason not to, to not just use Squelch. I'll also use Hero here to, to get some uh, healing done on people since Angelo uses a lot of his for actually doing damage. Not, not, just not quite the same most of the time. Ah, yep, I knew it. Ah, mini metal. All right, fair enough. Let's do an evac, and we'll see how, if it, we can, like, just fly back to this place, maybe? I don't know. Probably not, but... Oh, we can! Alright, well... In that case, we're gonna rest, and then come back to go through the other half of the dungeon. We'll just go here, because it's a very easy place to rest at. It's very cheap, and you can save, too. Thirty-nine hours so far, and very little of that has been just just dedicated grinding. I think maybe like an hour or two where I was like spent time at the slime island, but otherwise, yeah, like most of that's just been just, like playing the game. All right, back to the Pirates Cove. Bless them for letting us just zoom back. It's really nice of them. They didn't have to do that. for the free turn, I guess. Yeah, Angela could do a lot of damage. In one turn. Sit to single and uh, multiple targets. He's, he's, he's grown quite powerful. I'm really glad I decided to give him bows. Because in DQ9, you can get bows with when you get, like, a Sage or the Ranger or whatever, but, like, I just never was able to get around to actually using them. And maybe I should have, because bows are really great in this game, so maybe they're just as good otherwise. Must be a really weak hurricane. Why do you have that?
Okay, and then we, so now we take a turn to the right, or wherever direction happens to be, and we just keep going down the, down the hallway. Multi heal is so useful. Omni heal is ultimate useful, but we're probably not gonna get that for a while, if ever. Hades Elm, that's cursed as fuck. <laughs> that's probably also cursed as fuck. Zombie gladiators. Oh well, they should. They will not survive the, the winter. These seem like just like weird off-brand of the uh, skeleton enemies from older Dragon Quests that have like six arms. <laughs> I mean, those look more like demon apes than like skeletons, but I don't know. Still pretty cool. Like this Dragon Quest has a lot of designs I've just not seen anywhere else. Or I have seen very infrequently. Otherwise. As we'll get a little bit of a uh, MP back while we have the chance. some heroes MP since Anjo's needing his a lot more lately to do stuff like Shining Shot and Kaswoosh and all that. Yep, yep.
What took you so long? Looks like the goodies are mine, eh? We did say it was first come, first served. I knew it! Ahoy there! They call me Captain Crow. Long ago, I were one of the pirates who sailed the Seven Seas. Think you can take my treasure, do you? Think you've got what it takes? Yo ho ho then! Prove it by fighting me. Else get your hands off me, too. Oh, fighting ain't really my cup of tea, but... Look. Yeah, ah. you fucked. Red, what are you doing getting yourself into this? Sigh. Well, we were gonna have to fight him anyway, but... Eh. What's up, pirate dude, crow man? So, you're after me treasure, are ya? <laughs> You'll have to fight me first, mateys. Let's buff our let's get our buffs on and see if he has like disruptive wave or something. Hard to tell. It's kind of a weird boss. Oh, we can drop his defense though. Uh-oh, that could be bad. Uh-oh, that could be bad. Motherfucker gets two actions, which I mean, at this point in the game, he fucking better because <laughs> Yeah, this dude's going like over. Woo! Woo, Jesus! I'm glad they decided to attack Hero who has that much, who actually can survive that. That would have been bad. Angelo probably would have died. Okay, Captain Crow's uh, def his defense is already dropped as much as possible. Is this all he does? I mean, I say that as he didn't do like a 266 damage freaking hit. Might be resistant to the lightning or whatever. 
Okay, that was cool, but... Oh, well, there goes all his tension. Ah! I was wondering if he had Disruptive Wave, and he does. That's fine. It's, it's more productive to lower their stats if possible than it is to raise your own, usually, but... Still gonna just do a accelerate again. It'd be silly not to. Just make sure we outrun him. It's like a war of attrition. Just keep doing helm splitter so that his defense doesn't recover. That's that's the theory anyway. Oh shit, he gets to go to 100. That's not... That's not gonna be very much fun. Uh, we're, we're gonna defend. <laughs> Cause he's probably gonna do something a little silly. Oh, well. Did he lose his tension because he got horny? I mean... Maybe. <laughs> I don't know if that made his tension go away or not. That'd be really funny if it did, because that's clutch as hell. <laughs> I mean, I guess we're going to find out one way or another, because... He absolutely lost his tension because he got enamored. That is some good news. I was all prepared to, bl to defend to just try to block whatever it was. Nope, he just lost it immediately. It's pretty funny. I like that. And honestly, doing this setup stuff makes us do more damage. It also makes him waste a turn on uh, the thing because we get more turns than he does. So... I don't mind spending the MP to set up, because I can imagine spells probably don't do much to him anyway. Maybe they do, I don't know. That's it. Oh, see, he wasted his other turn to do that, and I can just have Jessica use uh, st st stuff again. And I can just have Hero here just do a full heal on Yangus, and then we're basically just good to go, you know? Although maybe I should, maybe instead of Kabuff, I should be doing, um, I'll do one Kabuff. I'll do this oomph on Yangus to just get him doing more damage. We might already just be faster than him anyway. I mean, it seems like it, but... It's hard to say. And honestly, there's not too many enemies that do psych up as our chief strategy like this guy does, so it's kind of interesting, honestly. Um... 
I was hoping to get the oomph off before he did that. That's fine, we still did plenty of damage. Next one will do better. Must be nice, he just gets to do that whenever he wants to. <clears throat> well, let's uh, defend, because we don't want to not do that and then just get wiped out by like his thin air attack or whatever. Yeah, that wouldn't have been pleasant. We probably would have survived anyway, but now we definitely survived. I wish Mavis had multi-heal. That would be amazing. I'm gonna have Angela just do multi-heal though. And Jessica just keep just keep doing co oomph. He lost the turn. Oh, you silly horny ghost. He's so down bad, he, he's horny in the afterlife. <laughs> oh, damn it. Well, whatever. Again, that still does plenty of good damage without having to worry about oomph. And now he's gonna build his tension up all over again because he got um that the admiration thingy. Good thing is we gotta keep his defense like lowered to minimum the entire fight because Helm Splitter just constantly does that. Yeah, that's the damage you like to see. It's probably gonna just use all of his. Yeah, he's just gonna use all of his stuff to get up to 100. We'll have these two defend because they're a little less stout in case he does decide to attack them. This lets us at least get. Yeah, I knew he was gonna do that. Oh, never mind. <laughs> God damn, those, those have come in clutch. Like, I may, be, I may give a big side eye to the whole, like, sex appeal tree because it's kind of obje objectifying as shit, but. Can't deny that that admiration thing has stopped him from doing some big, pretty, probably pretty annoying attacks. So, you know what? Fair play. <laughs> oh boy, I love it when airplanes fly over my my house. It's my favorite. Honestly, Angelo does more damage than uh than Yangus does. Oh wow, he's fast this turn. One sixty nine. Nice. Oh, that's fine. We can just we can probably heal that off anyway. 
next turn. He's very likely gonna just like. Oh, never mind. He's gonna do nothing. Cause he, cause we won. Nice, level 34, 18 HP. Yangus is a thick boy. Who comes an Axe Royale? 20 more attack power. Ooh, level up. For you too. 8 HP, not quite as beefy of a level up. Courage increases. Earns Fizzle. Great. Level 34. That's a beefy level up for, especially for Angelo. God damn. Cause it, yes! He now has a 100% successful res. I guess we're just gonna do charisma for him too. He becomes a dream boat. Learns Fuddle. Good for you, I guess. <laughs> 14, 6. That's a pretty good level up for her. Kaboom! Finally! I've been wanting the next level of Boom spell for like a million years. Sex pill increases. She becomes a lovely lady. Because I guess she wasn't a lovely lady, lady before. Learn Sexy Beam. Great. I mean, I can't really be too mad about Sex Appeal because it did like stop like three of his freaking turns when he was like full tension. So, I mean, eh. Drops a treasure chest, the Angus opens it. It contains a pirate's hat. Well I'm I'm not can't say I'm surprised. Shiver me timbers, you beat old Captain Crow. Tis a good sign. My treasure be yours. Ha <laughs> ha, me old hearties. Take my treasure and fulfill the dream I never could. Ha <laughs> ha! Hurry before that shit ass gets up. And it's like, oh, that's mine now. Yep, I'll be taking that. Oh, I suppose she's she like, hey, let's uh, help her. Oh, that ain't something I wanted you to see. And you've gone and got the bounty to boot. Hey, on. Is that all it is? That scraggy old bit of paper? That's pathetic. If I'd have known it was as naff as that, I'd never have bothered. Right. I suppose I'll just have to make do with the 10,000 gold coins I picked up on the way. Right, I'm out of here. I've had enough of this damn old to last me a lifetime. Whatever. She got all that dough down here. She's a sly old fox, that red. Well, we go what we come for. Ain't no point in us hanging around here no more, neither. Right you are. Let's get the fuck out of this awful cave. Let's, uh... Let's go back and heal again at the hilltop hut, because it's just easy to get to, fast to use, all the above. It's just highly ideal. I guess I can't really be too mad like that she got 10,000 gold because we're almost at that ourselves from just doing stuff. Yeah, that's right. Stare. I could have shoved the boat all the way to the sea, no probs. So, what's done's done. Well, y'all aren't very helpful. Well, I'm also just like in a really old story place, so. Um. 
I guess in that case, we're gonna zoom to, um... Minnie's Castle! Oh, we can drop off our mini medals we found in that dungeon. And then we can try to find wherever this island place is. Oh, hello! We need three more, then we get a meteorite bracer, which is uh, will be amazing. And our, these are a little annoying. Let's see what Kaboom is. I mean, I know what it is, but let's see what the animation looks like. Well, that's pretty cool. <laughs> They're just dead. Yep. Works for me. Seriously? Ah, oh, whatever. Frogman! Frogman was a man. He was a frogman. Where should we go? Really insightful, y'all. <laughs> Just don't have any text. Um. Pretty sure, like, the island, like, kind of like the south part, a little west of the middle, that kind of bigger one, that might be where we need to go. Maybe. I don't really know. Because, again, they're not really giving me any fucking hints. It's, maybe I have to use the chart or something. Okay, fair enough.
sure do love all the airplanes that fly over sometimes. The rocks! The holy rocks. I guess we're following this. <laughs> I'm guessing this is the place where the god bird Im Empyra lives. Empyria, I don't know. The, the, the burb lives here. Maybe. I think. Probably. Probably. See what lives here, I guess. They're probably strong enough to not be repelled by it anyway, so let's see. Lord Griffin. Peta. <laughs> this, this monster looks like a bit of a family guy. Teresa family guy. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. Hello, hug dispenser. Good, um, I, I guess in your case, afternoon, maybe even evening. Uh, yep. <laughs> well, I was thinking, <laughs> well, I was going to, it was a war griffin, so I was like, oh, Peter Griffin, because <laughs> my brain is poisoned. <laughs> So you you're you you're you, you are on the right track. <laughs> uh, is there a town here, or is there just like what what's what's going on here? Is that Stonehenge? Uh, muchos machos with their big white nipples. I love that. Whitest nipples in all the land.
we are we're trying to find the god bird. And we're probably pretty close. Godbird Town. It seems like it'd be the Godbird Town. Hmm, you're not from this island, are you? You see? We're starting by steep cliffs. I'm sho I am shocked to see outsiders here. Gojashar, welcome to Im Impaichu. In our native tongue, Impaichu means those who venerate the Godbird. Alright, well, makes sense. Oh. Oh, I don't want to pass up this opportunity to des to destroy sacred pr private property. You're trying to protect your vases, smart man. You are too late. Gohosha, I see the horse you came with is the most beautifulest white horse ever I be seeing. You sound like a stereotype. So I think maybe you would train it. For that, I will give you my horses, too. Of course. Where your treasure is, there your heart be also. Oh, well. I don't know what would happen if I said yes. King Tro would probably try to... would probably chew my fucking head off. Well, I'm gonna just, uh, be taking this. Thanks for that. And, uh, thanks for this. Wait, are you customers? Actual customers? The people of this village don't buy in so good, so this is a rare pleasure. Oh, what do you have? Magical mace. Occasionally steals MP from the enemies it hits. Ooh. Mercury's rapier. Strange Reaper allows its mover, user to move with unnatural agility. Bandit Mail. Sturdy armor made from exotic metal. Ooh, that's good. Flame Shield. Uh, Mithril Helmet. Ooh, that's pretty good too. And Angelo can equip that? Mmm. We're gonna have to get some, make some money and come back, because this is some good shit. to learn about an empire empyria please talk to the chief he loves telling stories well I could have guessed that was his hut that's kind of how it usually goes in places like this oh children gross Sink ship, ships. Did your ship sink by a storm too? How did you come here then? Did you fly or something? <laughs> Only the god bird can fly. I have to go around this child. <laughs> hmm? She fell asleep. Oh no! Now she's. And uh, now she even drool. Napping now very bad. She will not be able to sleep tonight. I want to destroy your per your personal property. Afu, afu. That's how I am on the weekends sometimes. Like, I'll just be like, I, I just take a fucking nap. You saw Shadow of Large Bird? It's in Pyria, the god bird. Pyria is a very mysterious bird. She only show us her shadow. It was so rare to see her shadow, so rare for us, but recently we see her shadow more and more often. Probably because there's a lot of evil in the world, and she has to be around. Oh, 
Oh boy, sounds like there's a missionary here. I hate that. I hate missionaries. <laughs> Ooh, another mini metal. Perfect. Yeah, I think we have, like, with one more, we can get the meteorite bracer. I heard that there is a shield that can only be equipped by women. I remember that shield is called Santa Shield. It's made by combining two kinds of shields and a file of holy water or something like that. It can only be willed by the women's. I think I already checked those sacks. I think I've plundered the village enough. Well, not quite. There's these jars still count as the village. Oh, oh, there's the other mini metal. So at some point I'm about to go get that bracer and so we can give that to like Yangus or something. Global Shar, you are not from here. You're closed. They give you away. You must be very tired from your long journey. Please, why don't you stay a night here? Well, aren't you very kind? Thank you. How very polite and kind of her. To just let us take a nap in her home. Gohoshar! Or is it good morning, as you say outside the island? Thank you. Because of Empyria, all the monsters are very angry. It is very hard to hunt for food now. I am angry too. At the godbird! I know she is our holy godbird, but I cannot eat my tongue. I would tell her myself, but she shows nothing to us. Nothing but her shadow. Err, I am even more angry. Well, that sounds like you're about to make a mistake. Let me, let me loot your, let me loot your house before the godbird smites you. Oh great, it's Jesus, people. talking to you anymore. Mumble mumble. Hmm? Who are you? Gohoshar, Gohoshar. You do not seem to be of this village. I see, so you want to learn about the godbird. I praise your inquisitive attitude. Empyria once could travel freely between two worlds. The first world is called the world of light, and this is the world we inhabit. The other is called the world of darkness. Neither a ruler of the world of darkness built a huge gate between the two worlds. He was unsatisfied, you see. He wanted to conquer not just the world of light, of darkness, but the world of light as well. Well, that, it's not like I haven't heard that before. I'm looking at you, Lord Zoma, Dragon Quest 3. Flew to the world of darkness and used all of her power to close the gate herself. It said that the legends of her efforts worked. The gate was successfully closed. Fortunately, she had no energy left to return to the world of light. All that remains this day is her shadow. It is also said that her shadow occasionally creates a doorway, an entrance to the world of darkness called the Dark Eye. Well, it sounds like we need to go find the bird shadow and... In that case... Bird shadow, bird shadow. Did they even go in this building? I can't remember. Not like there's really much value in here anyway, but. I guess we're gonna probably find out. Should, it should let us zoom back here. I would hope at least. 
Yeah, it does. All right. Uh, we'll go. We'll save at the hilltop hut because. Yeah. This is my favorite place to like, save and rest up because you just zoom right to it. Actually, I don't think we need it to heal again. We just need to save. And we'll, we'll wander around and see if we can, uh... We'll wander around and see if we can find the bird shadow, because I guess that's how we're gonna get to the bird or something. Whew. I've been really sleeping super well lately, in part because my roommate's cat has been like in my room, in my business for the last like two weeks. <laughs> so been a little hard to sleep sometimes because he'll like wake me up or like I'll wake up and need to like drink some water or something like that. It's just been a little unpleasant but what can he really do? I don't exactly know where to go at this point to get this bird to show up or something. Tosauruses, all right. their little arms holding the big battle axe. <laughs> oh wow, that's a pretty good amount of XP. It's a wayward cow. these things.
Oh god damn it. Oh, that thing's dead. Copper monster coin, huh? Alright, uh, cool. Is this gonna be a case of, like, there's, like, a, ra like a random fucking place this bird is that we have to find or something, or... I'm about to just about to look it up because I don't want to just be running around wasting a bunch of time for no good reason. You know, like
Well, I'm, I'm finding very little information on how we actually do this. I'm, I'm, I'm here. I was just trying to find uh, information about where to find this fucking bird. <laughs> Hello, Neki. Let's zoom back to the uh, Empaichu place here. There's a pit. That's not the right bird. <laughs> not, not exactly. We're, this is a different bird. <laughs> uh, we're going here and rest because it's. Yeah. Thank you, village lady, for letting us take a sleepy. I guess we'll head to the southwest of here. Maybe that's where the uh, bird shadow is. Don't really know, but I got like 26 minutes to try to find this thing. <laughs> so. We'll, we'll try to find the correct bird, not, not Hato. Tyrantosaurus is... oh no! I love their, their stinky little wings, their little stinky little hands. I'm just holding a, an axe that's like bigger than they are. <laughs> Kaswoosh. A crackle. something. Oh, those are dead trees. Hmm. An Elysium burp. Why, why is there a slime here? We'll worry about that after we murder this, this bird. Because I've got a feeling they're going to have like a king cure slime or something. Uh, well, n now they're definitely not. See that treasure out in the poison swamp, we're gonna go get it. It's just a little bit of poo water, no big deal. 
Oh yeah, I was gonna. I was contemplating buying one of those. Can I cope this one and still keep the staff of a divine wrath in her inventory so that she can just use it whenever she needs to? Let's fight this lad. <laughs> That's not what I ran into. What? <laughs> a hell, a helligator? What? What? What even is this? <laughs> He's got a lot of health. Well, had a lot of health. Oh, it wasn't. It wasn't even. Yeah, it wasn't even this dude. a big old man. Nope, not, not Shining Shot. Shining Shot's good and all, but multi-shot's more single target. Damn, this thing's got a lot of HP. <clears throat> Mr. Thick Man. Alright, finally went down. Jeez. <laughs> Monster coin, all right. I'm going to assume we ain't have to have to go over here. Maybe. I don't know. Well. I did see the bird shadow, so we're at least... Yeah, that's the bird shadow. It's like the second time I've seen it, because there was like a little cutscene with it. Um, 
previously when we first got to this island, but. It's War Griffin! See what these slimes are gonna do. Are these just slimes to for the sake of slimes, or do they make us a, a king slime of some kind? Let's find out. Also, let me get some MP back or whatever. I think they're just slimes, for some whatever reason. This mountain places. Oh, we have to go. Burb! Come back! Come back! The, this bird is in the shadow realm. But we can see its shadow in the light world. Ah, oh, these dudes. Put your tongue away. How are all y'all moving before Jessica? <laughs> Fucking weird. I'm under the impression that we have to get in this bird's shadow. Though I doubt it's like leading us anywhere. Mm. Come on, but nah, damn it. Oh, god damn it, the slimes. They won't let us run away. Jesus Christ. I hate this. Just let me just let me leave. No. <laughs> like we're the ones that are, we're the ones that are gonna run away, not you. Finally. <laughs> we we we're allowed to escape their fury. <laughs> I fucking hate that. <laughs> Where'd the shadow go?
Yeah, I'm about that. It's not, it's not gonna be much longer before I'm gonna have to like give up on this, cause yeah. Damn it! Oh, there's other birds waiting to ambush me. Like, they're like, you're looking for birds, right? It's like, yes, but not you. P gay birds! <laughs> they're not very difficult, thankfully. I'm gonna try looking this up again. Swamp on the west side of the island. Even north there's a slightly raised ledge. I guess that's where the portal is. Huh. So the whole business with the bird shadow is dog shit. I got it. <laughs> I love it when I try to trust the words of the NPCs and that means absolutely nothing. Why are Drakis here? I mean, I love them, but this is a, they're a little uh, underpowered for this part time of the game. They're a little uh, weak. Hell, these Elysium birds might be a little weak as well. I don't even know. The encounter tables on this island are weird. might be going the right way now. <laughs> hmm. Sounds fake. Fake birds. Birds aren't real. <laughs> Bir birds are just a psyop by the government. <laughs> You're a figment of my imagination. Well, you're a damn good one, if that's the case. My, my brain's doing some good shit in that case, I guess. Hi, Worm. Why are you trying to get on the counter, you goofball? Little goobus? Little goofer? Little goofy man? Waking me up at, like, all hours of the night? <laughs>
This encounter table is looking a lot like the last dungeon we were in, so yeah, I'm probably in the right place. Terrible, all right. It really didn't do anything. That was Birdie's second account all along. <laughs> the real, the real Birdies were the friends we made along the way, or something. entire damage. Good job. Proud of you. <laughs> yeah, I got like seven minutes. Uh, if I if I don't find this uh, thing soon, I'll have to resume this next week. Next Monday. The only reason I'm doing a stream today is because I wasn't able to do one on Monday. think so. Well, it's official. I have no idea where this portal thing is. All the FQs I've followed, tried to follow saying, oh, this is where it is, just are wrong. <laughs> it just, it's nowhere. Apparently. Well, that skeleton enemy is kind of cool, at least. Look, we'll have to look into the Dark World portal next time, because I gotta kind of wrap things up pretty soon. I like how unhinged this guy, that, that thing's donkey was. It was an incredibly unhinged freaking looking donkey. Um... Uh, I'll take another second real quick to try to look this look this crap up, but like Hmm. I'm 
Yeah, there's like... <laughs> I'm gonna have to just l deal with this next week, because I don't... I don't I don't have time to just be like stumbling around this place that it's supposedly up here, but uh, there's nothing here. So I'll have to figure it out next time. Unfortunately, that's just part of me not having as much time to stream because I work. Uh, so let's go to Hilltop Hut and we'll rest up and save, and that'll be the stream for today. Ugh. Yeah, not a fan, but gotta keep the lights on somehow. <clears throat> Twitch doesn't really cut it. It'd be cool if it did, but there's no way in hell that's gonna happen. <laughs> It'd be a little unfeasible for me to expect Twitch to pay all my bills. If it did, great, I'd stream more, but that's unfortunately not how life works. <laughs> I'll have to like watch a video or something about this at work so I can kind of figure out where the fuck to go for this because yeah okay close that close that and that will be the stream for today thank y'all so much for coming by and hanging out appreciate the company um tomorrow I should be good to do my big Saturday stream stuff and that'll be starting at like 8 like my normal streams do unless something comes up Ah, uh, wah, wah. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's see if I can find someone to raid real fast. Uh, eh. Nah, I think we're good on the raiding for today. I don't really see anyone I particularly want to, like, drop a raid on. At the moment, well, I'll, I'll I'll do my best to enjoy my time at work. Thank thanks, Neki. But yeah, I'm getting the stream, and uh, I'll be streaming again tomorrow, like all day, like my big stream, starting with Wayward at eight, probably around like noon or so would be uh, Shadows Over Loathing, and in the evening time, Minecraft. Woo. <laughs> If I don't see you then, I'll see you next time. Y'all have a great day.